Hi, welcome to Tech Trick Tutorial. Today we're going to show you how to create a sign up form on MailChimp, email marketing, MailChimp. It's a step by step beginner guide for everyone to follow easily. If you find this tutorial helpful, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. Now let's get right into it. Building an effective sign up form is a crucial step in growing your email list and engaging with your audience. With MailChimp's intuitive interface and powerful feature, you can easily create and customize sign-up forms to capture valuable subscriber information. So, the first thing you're going to have to do is of course, go to MailChimp and log into your account. After logging into your account or signing up for an account, signing up for an account is very easy and direct, you wouldn't be too confused, so we're beginning our tutorial at the dashboard immediately. What you're going to do next is you're going to create a campaign or rather we're going to click on the create option over here on the top left we will be redirected to this page over here where we can see every single feature or every single thing that mailchimp can create and what we can do as you can see we can create emails we can create automations we can create websites we can create landing pages you can use a creative assistant and then you could create a sign up form over here which we will be focusing on today's video. We can also create surveys, ads, and social posts, and lastly, a post card over here. Now, the different sign up forms that we could create are embedded form, pop up form, and sign up landing page over here. Depending on what you would like, you could use any of this. An embed form allows you to add your form into a website, as you can see here on the description that we're seeing right now. We can add an embed form to your website to collect contacts. You can also have a pop-up form which is a pop-up form to your website to collect contacts. Once again, very similar with the embed form but the pop-up form is very different. It's going to appear on your screen and like you won't be able to access anything behind it unless you exit the pop-up form. Or you could create a very simple sign-up landing page which would allow you to collect new contacts with a landing page. So this is what we're going to focus on today since we don't have any other website that we could use the embed form and the pop-up form to test it on. As you can see, we're first going to name our landing page over here. For now, we're going to go with the testing page name because this is not an official landing page. But when you create your landing page, the name of the landing page is completely up to you. And then you can select your audience over here. Then simply click on begin. And then we will be able to start our journey to creating our very first or our own sign up page in MailChimp. And as you can see, the first thing you're going to have to do is to select a template. You will be able to see these options over here right now. We have the lead generations and promote products over here. Now, those are the two categories that we are seeing right now, like this lead products, lead products, lead products, lead products, and then grow your list in this section over here. You could use any of these options, any of this template, and then you can simply edit it however you want. Now for us, we're going to go with this simple one over here, which is select grow your list, which will allow us to have a very simple template to begin with. Now if you, you are completely free to use the other templates, but right now for me, I'm simply going to use this instead. Now over here, as you can see, very simple location. You could change the background to however color you want. You could also use an image if ever you want. As you can see, you could change it to a color that I want, just like this, by simply dragging it to whatever color, just like that. And then you could add your logo over here, your heading, and then information about your landing page or about your company or whatever information that you would like to put it is very easy to add information and then your email address over here you could add more sections over here fields that you could add as you can see here we're going to check that out in a bit and then you could also add a button over here and basically that's the form a very simple form for a sign up page as you can see you could click on a specific block over here clicking on a specific block would allow you to edit that specific block for example we have this logo block over here and I would like to edit the heading. I would simply hover on the heading section over here and simply click on this icon over here which would allow us to edit the block. As you can see, I will see it over here on the left side and I could add any information that I would like to have in this section over here. Any headline, any title, it's completely up to us on what we would like to have over here. The content of your email or your content of your sign up page or your landing page right now because this is technically a landing page as well 
is completely up to you. The way you attract your customers, the way you attract your contacts is completely up to you. But for me, I'm just teaching you how you will be able to pull this off, how you will be able to do certain things so that you wouldn't be confused when you're creating this. Over here, you could add or edit the different paragraph formatting over here, like bold, italize, hyperlink, depending on what you would like to use, the style, spot, and size over here. You can also click on style over here, which would allow you to change the font once again, the style, color, styles, align, and line height over here. And click on settings. You can change it to one column to two column, allowing it to have another section over here on the right side. You could edit the spacing over here by clicking on the options over here, depending on how you would like it to produce. And you could edit the content of the column two by going back to content, click on column two, and then you can add whatever information you would like on the column two over here. Now we have your text over here. This is a text block. You could do the same thing. Click on your block over here. Then you could edit it over here on the right side. Now the styles and settings are very much the same. So you wouldn't really need another explanation for that because we just did it for this one. But it's exactly the same as you can see here. And if ever you would like to duplicate a specific block, you can simply click on this icon over here, which would allow you to duplicate the block. Just like that, we now have two text block over here. And if you would like to delete a block, you simply click on the trash icon over here, which would allow you to delete a specific block that you have selected just like that. And for the logo, for example, I would like to upload my logo or any photo that I have. Simply click this and then you could click on replace link or alt over here. These are the different options that you have. Then you could edit the display size over here. There's also another style over here like border, rounded control, corners, stuff like that like box shadows, all of those information that you are seeing right now. It is completely up to you though on how you would like to proceed with this. As you can see here, you can have an offset just like that. Its style is completely how you would like it to be produced, just like that. And for now, we're going to click on save and close. Right now, let's go and focus on this one over here, the sign up for. Over here right now, the most basic one that I enabled is the email address. You could add more like first name, last name, address, phone number and birthday now i don't think the birthday is really necessarily so you could remove that and you could rearrange this as well as you can see you could put the phone number at the top by simply dragging it just like that and you could also make this information required depending on how you would like it to be for example we're going to fix this for now you could click on this checklist over here on the right side which would make this a requirement for them to fill up before they could subscribe to our contacts over here you can also add an interest group and you can also change the information on the bottom text as you can see here. Then after they click this, they will be sent to another page as you can see, a confirmation image or another web address over here by simply typing in the web address over here. You could create another website inside MailChimp. You could create the congratulations page inside MailChimp as well. So you wouldn't need to go and create another website on another platform. You could do it all in MailChimp. Right now, we're going to go with the confirmation email and this is what they're going to receive after they successfully join or subscribe to this specific uh, sign-up page that we have created. You could add whatever information, whatever text that you want. You could also add image over here, however you would like it to be presented. And you have your styles here as well. You can change it to another color just like that. Right now, we could have it as no color. We can move the background just like that. You can edit the font. And all of this information over here, different styles and the settings as well, like alignment, button settings, and like alignments as well. And simply click on save and close. After this, you can simply click on save and close once again, which would allow you to save the sign up page that you have created over here. And let's see, let's give it some time, then we will be redirected over here. Now, in this section, we're going to see you will be able to control like the page title, site icon, the social share preview, URL, audience tag, and content over right here. And you can simply publish it, copy the link, and then send it to wherever, paste it to wherever, and let the internet do its thing. And it's also depending on you though, on how you will be able to uh, promote your landing page or promote your sign up page. And that's it guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.